let's drop down and finish this one. And then D4, crafting plate D4 will be wrapped up. Okay. Another fairly simple one, if you just read the measurements. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up half an inch for this line. I'm going to come up a half. And I've got to find out how far I need to come over for it. So let's take a look. It gives us three and a fourth for the total length. We have to look all the way up here to see how far this line comes over. So we need to come over one and three fourths. So it's one, two, three, four. There's one. And one, two, three fourths there. So all we're going to do is draw a vertical line there and there. Across here. And our vertical line to tie it into the one and three fourths. And that's this surface completed. Now all we have to do is draw, make, represent that rectangle surface. We need to come up one and a fourth. There's one, two, three, four, and a fourth. There's that one. Right there. So we'll come across. It goes all the way to here. Plus we're going to have to reproduce a representation with some hidden line there. We'll do that later. And remember that'll come up on across there. But these lines, if you see it's a cutaway, so these lines will just erase. Okay, that is pretty much the right side of that block done because we have this surface and we have this surface, but we do have to show this cutaway in there and it comes on across an inch back, one, two, three, four there, and then goes all the way to the top. So we'll just draw our hidden line here to that point. Use our square to get our vertical line right there. Now let's move on to the top. This line and this line line up pretty fairly perfectly. These come in a half an inch on each side, so I know that I'm going to come in here and here because I'm coming in two squares, two fourths. So I just have to line up, draw my line draw my line, and then I need to come back in an inch, because remember if I'm looking down from the top, I'm showing this view. So I need to come in an inch, one, two, three, four, which perfectly lines up with our hidden line, so really just need to go line up on our hidden line down here, and then just connect those two horizontal lines. We have one two surfaces plus we have three four from the top view so we have to show these this is three fourths wide three fourths wide here these lines just need to continue on down and there it is top view completed come to the right again we're almost done this line is, the, is here it lines up perfectly with that one on the right side view. So we know we're going to bring it here. It comes in a half an inch there on both sides. So we can bring it in from the right side a half an inch. Then we have this line going up one and one fourth, which is actually the same plane as here. So we can bring it up, draw that line in. And then all we have to do is as simple as making one two vertical lines. So we have one, two, three surfaces shown, but again, we have another little rectangle surface because this line and this line actually are on the same plane as those two. So we could bring our, our angle back in, draw those up. Now if you take a look, the right side is completed. We have one, two, three, and four surfaces showing. And that is D4 drafting plate completed. All you need to do now is staple everything in order with the worksheet on front, then D1, D2, D3, D4, and hand them in for credit. And that's D4, D, the multi-view drafting plates worksheet D1234.